Now, a shooter requires a variety of skills, but arguably one of the most important is of course your aim. Especially in a shooter like Tarkov, where just one bullet can make a huge difference. It's also a skill where the potential is basically unlimited. I mean, take a look at the ESL. Watches, Gio goes for the plant. The sound cue will give Dim the information. Oh, he takes one down! Oh! And a new empire will rise! As you but most of us just don't have the time to practice 8 to 10 hours a day. Neither did we start playing when we were 10 years old. So how do we, as normies, get better aim? And that's today's topics, going from the newbie aim to the god aim. Let's call it Hands Transformation. Now there are a thousand and one topics to talk about when it comes to aiming, but the three most important ones that will lead to you having success in a short amount of time are ergonomics, frequency and tools. And we will go over all three topics now. So what do I mean with the first one, ergonomics? Basically the way you're sitting in front of your computer. Don't worry, this will not be a boring office ad where they show you how to sit and just nobody actually sits that way. Because nobody can tell you what the right position for you is. If you have 100 ESL players, you have 100 different sitting positions. Some players prefer to be really, really close. Others are playing in a very relaxed position. But all of them are very successful and very good players. So it's important for you to experiment. Try a different position. See what works for you. Because knowing what doesn't work for you can help you immensely in finding the position that works for you. That's why I really encourage you to try everything at least once. The only restrictions you have is basically, one, it needs to be comfortable. If it's not, this could lead to back pain, side infections and so on, and you don't want that. So make sure it's comfortable and also make sure it's repeatable. That's the next very important point. And what the hell do I mean with that? It basically means every time you sit in front of your computer, you have the exact same sitting posture. You can compare that to your car. Most of us never adjust the seat ever again. But you immediately notice when somebody else drove your car because the sitting position is just off. Or even worse, when you switch cars, it feels so different and unnatural. And the same thing you want to achieve when playing video games. Because once you sit in front of your computer exactly the same way every time, your body will start to really develop muscle memory. It's basically an instinct or hand-eyes coordination is a term for that. So basically your body will learn that if you want to move in a game, you need to move the mouse by that many centimeters on your screen and move those muscles exactly this much. But this needs time to develop and for that you need to have the same posture. And it doesn't matter if you go for a complete arm aiming technique or just a wrist aiming technique. Try what works for you. The only important thing is that you have an anchor point. If you move with your arm, this would likely be your elbow and if you move with your wrist, then this would be, well, your wrist. <laughs> but you need that point of orientation. Just keep in mind, if you aim with your whole arm, uh, just make sure you have enough space on the desk. But once you found a posture that works for you, we are done with the first step. And now we come to the frequency. So what do I mean by that? Basically, when you play a game like Tarkov, you are not constantly fighting. You do a lot of running around, looking for items, looting, sneaking, navigating, scouting. And once you encounter a fight, most of the time it's over within seconds. This means the number of occurrences where you can improve or where you're challenged on your aim are pretty limited in a game like Tarkov. So if we would just play Tarkov all day, it would take a long time for our aim to improve. I mean, compare that for example to the new battlefield. There you are fighting pretty much every single second of the game. And therefore you practice pretty much every single second. Same for example like Apex Legends, just any fast paced shooter. The intensity is just way higher with those games. Therefore you also have more practice opportunities so to speak and you will improve faster on your aim. And I'm not saying you have to play those games, I'm just showing you the different intensities and now we get to what we can do about it. Because Tarkov has an offline mode. So go to factory, choose high scaff amount, tacked and cursed and go. 
Now it's very important that you don't sit in a corner, hold an angle and just murder every single scaff that runs around because you won't learn anything from that. Go into the open because you want to be challenged. Your heart should be racing right now. Let the scaffs really stress the hell out of you because that's how you get better. Even if you die, it doesn't matter. Just hop back into your next raid and keep practicing because every situation is different and comes with different challenges for you to improve and this will boost your overall progress by a lot and pretty much every game nowadays has an offline mode for example rainbow six siege has the terrorist hunt where you can play against ai now manage the difficulty see what works for you challenge yourself because nobody's watching you don't have to impress anybody it's for you then we get to tools now why not just keep practicing in those offline modes? Well it's gonna happen that you develop faster in certain areas than others so you develop weaknesses which is completely normal. But then we need tools to work on those weaknesses specifically. And there are a ton of tools out there. For example Aimlabs is the one I'm using but you can use whatever. The only important thing is that it lets you practice the same skill over and over again and has a way for you to compare and watch your progress and maybe even your weaknesses. Some even give you advice, like you have a weakness in the left corner, so why not try this exercise, which challenges you exactly on that. Just one very important thing that I see a lot of people do wrong. Don't waste your time doing exercises where you are very good at. This is not to show off, okay? Nobody's gonna know your score. Nobody is ever going to see what you're doing there. It's for you. So practice where you're weak at. And the beauty of those tools is basically that 10 minutes is enough. When you do those exercises 10 to 15 minutes a day, you're going to see a significant improvement. And you can do that when you're, for example, waiting for your last team member to join on Discord or in between when you, for example, are dead and your teammates are still in the raid. It's so easy and with a couple of minutes you really maximize the intensity that would otherwise cost you hours of playtime in-game. And that's it. Now, what are the advantages of the whole package and how does it work together? Now, keeping the same posture again helps you with building this muzzle memory instinct. Then by doing runs against the AI with a very high intensity helps you improve very very quickly. And to speed up that process even further, we exercise outside of the game on areas where we're weak at. This will help you improve your aim by a lot with just 10 to 15 minutes of work a day. Of course there are so many other things to talk about when it comes to aiming, even for example how you hold your mouse. but if you can really master those three, you will already see a huge progression. So really start with that. And then uh, good luck with the hands transformation. <laughs> then I'm happy to announce that we now have channel membership. So if you want to support the channel, that's the easiest way. Otherwise, if you like the video, of course, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.